Hey guys, it's FIFA Real here and welcome to episode 82 of Let's FIFA 14 and I sold on a few players on the transfer list including the team of the season Dead Ace so we have around 118,000 coins but I actually wanted to sell on a few more players in the Ibrahimovic squad and especially Neuer would give me quite a lot of coins and then I decided to go all out and go with that Ronaldo and Ibrahimovic squad and I can tell you just just right now it is ridiculous to play with and it's kind of a kind of cheating playing with those two on top and there is some good gameplay to come but yeah we are building a squad around those two we had around 200,000 coins and I kind of saved my coins I went for some of the cheap non-informed players for the defense because there was one man I wanted to have into the side as well which got quite a few informs on the game and you can probably guess who it is he's going to play on the center attacking mid and he is the final player we, uh, we pick up and he links up with Moutinho and he just transferred to Real Madrid but we are picking up one of his informer cards and that is James Rodriguez and I actually picked up a De Rossi as well I didn't know I had an untradeable item of him in my club so I had to list up the one I picked up then I went out to pick up the final player and I went for the 87 rated version of James Rodriguez I couldn't afford uh, couldn't afford the team of the tournament version or the first man of the match version it was a little bit too expensive so I just got the third in form I think it is uh, of his card and yeah this is the team and Golan Danovic we have Agbona Kilini Maikon on the right back and then finally we do have Elisu over on the left back who got the long shot trade he's fast he's quite strong medium medium work rates and he's just a very good left back on the game we got Moutinho there just a bit of a link up player between the Portuguese and with uh, James Rodriguez we have De Rossi as a holding mid and finally James Rodriguez with that uh, strong left foot good dribbling good passing shooting and quite fast as well he is a very fun player to play with and maybe we'll pick up his Real Madrid card once he goes a little bit further down in price on the right wing we do have a Lucas he's there to link up with Ibrahimovic mainly to give him that strong link Ibrahimovic on the top five star skills good shooting and Ronaldo alongside him and I've had a lot of fun playing with the, this squad having those two on the top is just it's kind of unfair as I said earlier it's a little bit like cheating and yeah we're heading on into division one and playing with this squad I believe we're sitting on six points at this point in time and we're looking to see if we can pick up a few more with the team I, the first opponent he didn't ready up so I backed out went into a new game and I got matched up against a Brazilian side in a 4-1-2-1-2 I get my first chance pretty much straight from the start of the game it's Ronaldo on the ball here he runs down the wing a few skill moves he actually runs into Ibra and he kind of stopped uh, he kind of interferes with the run a little bit but we pick it up again we take a shot and Ibrahimovic is there to get the goal a bit bit clumsy in the end but we go up 1-0 and we continue on Ibrahimovic on the ball here he goes a little bit back and forth see if he can beat Felipe Melo and in the end he is able to go past him get a shot in but we hit the defender unfortunately five minutes later on the ball again this time around it's Ronaldo on the ball here he cuts inside the pitch he goes past Felipe Melo nice little run there past another one but unlucky there nice slide tackle from my opponent to to stop my attack we get another chance Ronaldo on the ball again he tries out the shot and he will block it off with David Luiz it was just a lot of chances and him just blocking off my shots but in the end a first time chip over his rushing key and Ronaldo would get a goal for himself to make it a 2-0 and 27th minute we have yet another chance Ibrahimovic on the ball past another player and another one and another one before he makes his way into the box past David Luiz and unfortunately he would block it off with the slide tackle but in the 40th minute we recreate what we did yesterday a long ball into the box and a bicycle kick into the back of the net to make it 3-0 and unfortunately I couldn't watch the replay of the goal because my opponent he decided to rage quit after the goal so we win the game 3-0 after I think we played 40 minutes something like that and it was a lot of fun playing the first game with Ronaldo and uh, Ibrahimovic up on the top so I decided to jump into another division one game to see if I get a three more points and a uh, jump up on 12 points so we get matched up against a quite interesting team and not everybody on the full chemistry however I do get a bad start nice shot from Adriz and uh, Handanovic didn't look too good in the net so he goes up 1-0 but pretty much straight after that I find Ibrahimovic stop up roulette pass two defenders and we are all even once again and yeah this attack is somewhat unstoppable Ronaldo breaks on through here I try with a little dink over the keeper and a scissor kick there but couldn't find the back of the net we continue on Ibrahimovic on the ball 22nd minute past a bunch of defenders pass it out to Elisu before we'll eventually pass it back a little scoop turn in between the defenders but we hit a player with the shot unfortunately instead in the 32nd minute he runs down the wing and I don't know how 
but Kalini actually completely missed the header. I thought it was an own goal to start off with, and Eto he could in the end head it in. But uh, this team is very good at bouncing back straight from the kickoff. It's Lucas on the ball. He goes past two defenders. Eventually, he'll go past the third one, and I gave him a bit of his own medicine. I crossed it in, and Rodriguez would head it in to make it a 2 2. And we continue on 37th minute. Ibrahim, which on the ball, past several defenders. He's a little bit lucky to pick it up again, but that is kind of what him and Ronaldo does. They just bounce back every time, get the ball, and look at that finish. You can't take that away from Ibrahimovic. Crazy shot in off the post, top corner. Looks awesome in the replay there. What a shot that is, and it just fires into the top corner, and I'm up a 3-2. And continuing into the second half, Lucas on the ball, he stops up here, drags it back, on through to Ronaldo. Look at that, chest and another touch, past the keeper. We are up a 4-2, and yeah, it's just ridiculous playing these games with these strikers, uh, Ibrahimovic and Ronaldo. And we're up on 12 points in the division, and I decided to play one more game because we had two great squid in the first two games. So I want to play one more game in this episode. We get matched up against a strong La Liga side here and I get my first chance in the 20th minute took a little while we played on through to Ibrahimovic here he's able to hang on to the ball I tried for the chip over the keeper but there's not enough power and he could save it we continue on 37th minute on to Ibrahimovic here a few skill moves before before we able to turn around look at that from Ronaldo just ridiculous, just as in the other game, a quick chest touch and first time he can shoot it in on the volley. Lovely goal there after some nice skill moves from Ibrahimovic and we are up 1-0. But then I make a mistake, I tried to power it up to pass it further out on the wing. It goes to my center back and he got a penalty when I tried to pass it back even though I hit the ball first. And he could go all even to make it a 1-1. One -one. A little bit unfortunate there. Uh, but I was, of course, looking to get a second goal in the game. I had a chance with Ibrahimovic. You get another chance with Ronaldo. And we're able to chip his keeper there to make it 2-1 in the 68th minute. And that is uh, pretty much how the scoreline was at the 90th minute. So we win another game. We win a 2-1. This was probably the toughest game I played. But I was still able to get out on top. A game where it bounced back and forth with the chances. But in the end, we win it with on 15 points after 5 games in Division 1. And we're sitting on 9 wins here in our current run and 2 losses. And this is going to be where we end it off. We're going to play a bit more with this squad in the next episode, of course. And also with the Terap squad. And that is pretty much all. Thank you for watching. And I will talk to you later.